Hey everybody, welcome once again to our Low on Health Rambling. Today is September 12th, 2012. Uh, this is going to be a quick rambling over, uh, once again, recapping about a bunch of stuff I've done recently. In my last previous one, I mentioned how I basically walked away from my mortgage. It basically frees up a bunch of money and time now because I don't have to work two jobs. And uh, what actually happened recently is because of August was coming up, which is my birthday, the beginning of the August, I had vacation time saved up. And what I was going to do, which is something I've been meaning to do for years, is actually my uncle works out at Disneyland. Uh, Disney World, I'm sorry, and uh, he's been doing that for like over 13 years and family members always go out and see him and hang out at his place and get into the parks for free and whatnot. And I've really never taken advantage of that because I'm not that kind of person, but I figured I actually have time off, so I'll go see him. Uh, what I also learned during that uh, time I was going to be in Orlando visiting him, that AFO, the Anime Festival of Orlando, was happening. And I used to go to those all the time when I used to work for Anime Nation. We used to go as dealers and vendors and sell in the room in there, and I, I enjoyed that. So I was like, you know what, for once I'll actually treat myself to a proper vacation. So I actually got the three-day pass for AFO, booked a hotel rooms, uh, which was nice because the convention itself was at a resort, so it was all in, like kind of inclusive. The hotel and the convention were in the same place. So I got me a king-size bedroom, and, you know, I, I talked to some friends, like, oh, you want to split rooms? Like, no, I'm going to do a vacation ride, I'm just going to enjoy it by myself. So uh, I decided, hey, I'll have a proper vacation. And this was the beginning of August. I drove over to Orlando in the protege before I got the Jeep, uh, which made it over there fine. I uh, got to my uncle's house because I wanted to make sure I knew it was at and everything in Orlando. And I was like, hey, you know, I'm here. I'm just going to drive around for a while. He's like, no, why don't you come to the parks? Um, you know, just pay for parking and I'll meet you at the gate. And I had taken a half day from work. I just wanted to get over there. And I'm like, sure, I guess. Why not? So I uh, went over to the Hollywood uh, Studios, which is the current studio that he's working at right now, doing a bunch of puppeteer stuff and uh, doing the parades and whatnot. So I was like, okay. Went over there, paid for parking, got in there, and uh, he let me in the park, gave me a quick tour around the park, which is one of the smaller of the parks, Hollywood. Uh, Highway Studios is, and uh, it was just kind of cool to hang out with them and whatnot. And uh, I'm gonna show you, of course, a bunch of quick pictures of that I took there. So let's see what we got here. Uh, this is, of course, me with the the giant Mickey Fantasia hat. I did a, a bunch of uh, pictures. I'll just show the choice ones here, just to prove that I was actually there. Uh, me and my uncle actually went on the Aerosmith uh, roller coaster, which was cool. Being with him, of course, I got in for free. We also kind of was able to kind of get fast pass and rush through. I didn't spend any of the parks. I didn't spend more than 15 minutes online, mainly because of the fast pass and also because of being a single person. I wasn't there with the family, so whenever they needed just one person for like a ride set up, I was like, man, I got rushed through, which was awesome. I actually bought the pictures. You know when you take your pictures when you do the different roller coasters? I actually bought the pictures from that, which is something I would rarely ever do because I'm a cheapskate, but it was actually fun. I, that roller coaster, the Aerosmith one, is very intense. Um, it's very cool. It's basically like Hollywood Studios' uh, Space Mountain. So we did that, and I was actually having a great time at that point. It was just really fun hanging out with my uncle and going to the different parks. Uh, this is the second day my uncle, that's him as Goofy and whatnot. They were doing meet and greets, which was kind of cool. My second day at Hollywood Studios, I just kind of lounged around. I actually uh, did a lot of e-book reading because I was just waiting for him to get off shift and whatnot, which was just kind of weird, kind of hanging out at the parks, not really planning to be there and just kind of lounging around, not actually trying to just have a vacation. Like, I see families there, and I was wearing my normal garb. Like, the first day I was wearing my usual black with the undershirt, and then the next day I was wearing uh, the white with the black undershirt. So it was just kind of cool to hang out there and just kind of be like, you know, whatever. Um, and then actually after he got off shift, we went to the Magic Kingdom, which was awesome to be able to go from Hollywood Studios, boom, right there in Magic Kingdom, less than 10 minutes. And I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. Like I hadn't been to Magic Kingdom in years. Um, this, of course, I took pictures with the 3DS, so seeing these in three, these pictures in 3D is awesome. Uh, you can actually see like the castle in the background. But it was kind of cool to just hang out with them and just walk around the park. It's very interesting to kind of just be there to be there, not like planning on it and having to go to do this and that or have to deal with family, just kind of lounge around and kind of just loiter in the parks. It was just real fun. Of course, we did all the basic classic rides. Um, of course, this is me to prove that I was there. I'm like, yeah, I'm there. And I did enjoy myself there. It was kind of cool. He's uh, He's been there for over 13 years, and like whenever there was a parade or something, he would get involved with the people. He would cheer them on. They would recognize him and stuff, and it was just kind of really cool. Uh, this is him, of course. He does a lot of goofy stuff and whatnot, and that was kind of cool just to have him do a pose there. But uh, it was really cool just hanging out with my uncle at Disneyland or Disney World. It's something I will definitely do down the road since now I have all this free time and necessarily not a lot of money, but money to spend. I'll probably definitely do the Star Wars uh, weekend there and whatnot. But it's something I'm going to look forward to doing more is going over to Orlando and seeing my uncle. Now, the second part of my uh, Orlando vacation was, of course, AFO. So I had a hotel room. This is me with my badge on me taking my picture. Uh, that's when I started doing my whole sunglasses to kind of cut my hair back because I'm in the middle of low-cut hair. And I did that the whole con. And of course, I took a bunch of pictures of people dressing up. Uh, going to the con, it was kind of cool. A lot of people were, more people were dressing up than I'm used to going to the cons, which was cool and all. Um, and it was just fun to kind of lounge around. I actually ran into John 
on Saturday, we went to a couple panels. And like I said, it was just nice to relax and not have to be in there and just kind of mill about. I got a bunch of 3DS people, uh, kind of the hot pass, the spot pass things, which was awesome. And just kind of mill about, like, just be there among my kind, uh, kind of people of the, of the same mindset. It was kind of fun just to be around that again. Uh, but like I said, a bunch of people were dressing up, which is really cool to see the cosplayers. Uh, one thing I mentioned to John while we were there is that a lot of people were young. Like, well, we went to AFO back in 2002 was the last time I went to AFO, so it was like over nine years ago. Um, where were all the older people then? There was still the younger crowd, and John's like, well, they just grow up. There's not that many, like, veteran anime people like we are, which is kind of sad. Um, of course, then... Uh, John actually took me out to dinner to see, or actually lunch to CC's, and then we went out to dinner to this steakhouse, in which case I had to get me my pina colada. Of course, throughout the weekend, I had Dr. Pepper and rum, and I was kind of just lounging and relaxing and drinking here and there. And I took this picture specifically for Leroy, the McDonald's manager, who gave me a bunch of extra hours when I worked at McDonald's. Like, like okay, Leroy, thanks for this extra hour as I'm scrubbing down a grill. Like, every single extra hour is like a pina colada or a drink. He's like, okay, make sure you have one for me. So this is my for Leroy picture, which I very much liked. But, uh... So that was my Orlando trip. Uh, the next week, uh, uh, I was just basically relaxing because I had this time off. Um, uh, the next week, I got the Jeep and I actually went to uh, Jeff and Felina's because I wanted to show off the Jeep and I hung out with them. I actually had five guys for the first time, which was really cool. It took me like half an hour to finish one of their burgers. But that was kind of a nice relaxing thing to show off the Jeep at the top down and uh, see Jeff and Felina. Then the next weekend after that, I believe it was going to the castle. You can't really see us that well, but that's me. I've never been to the castle. Um, which is down in St. Pete, or down in Ebor. Actually, the, before this, I was down in St. Pete for uh, diversity training for work, and then I actually went up and saw Josh, who was an old friend, co old co worker. I saw his place, which I hadn't seen in a while because he lives in Clearwater. Um, so that's what I did then. Actually, the weekend before this, I'm going to be bouncing around here. I went to the Cinema Cafe with Mike to see Trigon. I forgot about that because I had the Jeep also. Um, I went to go see Mike, who I hadn't seen in forever, and I never see where he lives. So I was like down in Clearwater, and he invited me to go out to Cinema Cafe to see Trigon, badass Rumble. Batlands Rumble, sorry, uh, Dup, which is kind of cool seeing the Cinema Cafe and whatnot. I drove, he drank. It was just kind of a cool outing in and itself, which was really fun. I did that, and that was that one weekend. Then the next weekend, it was basically down to St. Pete, then Clearwater to see my friend Josh for a while, hang out with him, and then it was over to Jeff and Felina's yet again to drive out to the castle. Once again, I was driving around in the Jeep because I like showing off my Jeep now. We went down to Ebor and hung out to the castle, which I've never been to, which is that gothic club, because Bishop right there was DJing. Of course, that's me, and that is Jeff wearing the shorts, and that's actually Doug. You can't see him that well there. Doug was there. Of course, we were all there to support Bishop and whatnot, but it's cool to kind of hang out with Doug and talk to him, and he's very kind of pessimistic and almost has my same mindset, and he brought up the fact we could fuel the world on our pessimism and you know, just our sarcasm, yeah, or sarcasm alone, which was kind of cool. He's very much, which I, I think, like a like-minded individual. Uh, but that was really cool to kind of hang out there. I didn't drink then and whatnot, but it was kind of cool to hang out at the castle, which I've never been before. It's very not my crowd. Cruising around Ebor, which is always kind of fun to do. We had, you know, dinner there and whatnot. Um, it's kind of cool just to the, the, the make fun of people. That's, that's what you got to do when you get older. But I, I'm very much interested in maybe going back there and actually going to some of the other clubs that may have more or less my type of music, which is like the top 40 music. Um, now, the next weekend after that, which, of course, like I said, I'm jumping around. Uh, I'm just going to zoom back out here. Um... Actually, one of my secretaries at work was uh, basically leaving us, so we all actually went out for happy hour, had dinner together, which was funny because basically me and all the file management and ex-file management people, which is me and basically five other females, um, in which case that time around I had my sister drive me up there so I could drink So we were at uh, basically Chili. So I had like three or four pina coladas, and I was just kind of relaxing with the girls, and I was actually on my second vacation during Labor Day weekend when this happened now. So this is like four weeks. I only worked like maybe two Fridays in August. It was awesome. Um, so we went out to Chili's. It was kind of cool to hang out with them and catch the other two up uh, with them and let them know what was about going off the trailer and whatnot, all my stories. And it was just kind of cool to hang out with them. Not like-minded people whatsoever, but co-workers and just having a good time um, and drinking with them and whatnot. And that was, of course, for Jessica's last day, uh, the secretary who... Uh, it was kind of cool to hang out with Jessica. Like, Jessica, she will be missed at work. She was one of the reasons why it was kind of fun to come into work because she was kind of the younger person uh, at the job. She was kind of like, you know, the little sister I never wanted. Um, which I kind of I, I have a little sister that I do want Mackenzie she's awesome and all the half breed but Jessica was just kind of kind of cool to have around and she will be missed but uh, that was kind of my vacations there and that that basically segued into Labor Day vacation which is what I just ended recently uh, by playing a bunch of video games which is fun because now I have the time to do that but it was just a fun filled month in August very much different from last year's August which was kind of downhill um, this one is basically like a preview to how cool my life could be coming. Um, and now with all this free time, I'm actually going to be going, I've been like doing a bunch of Facebook events and basically, okay, well, next, next, like, you know, next three weeks in a row, I have like weekend events and stuff. I'm going down to International Plaza and whatnot. So I'll be doing more videos, explaining what's going on. But that's my vacation videos. I got to go to Orlando and Disney. I'll, just, I'll be doing this stuff again. And it was just fun to get out there and enjoy life again, which is something I haven't done in so very long. 
So as always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.